this is Monica from El Blog para Aprender Inglés. And today I am going to show you how I cook my lunch. And um, we're going to cook today a cocido, a vegan cocido. Do you know what a vegan cocido is? Okay, a cocido is a typical uh, Madrilian dish from Madrid. Okay, and I am going to make a version that is vegan. And the reason why I'm making this because I am a vegan, but I became a vegan about two or three months ago only. Today, we are going to just try to learn as many words as possible. Okay, so pay attention to all the details when I'm cooking. Here we have organic carrots okay these are organic carrots and this is celery organic celery an organic onion and organic pumpkin here we have some normal ingredients that are not organic I usually try to combine them because it is very expensive to eat organic food okay and now here we have our uh, pressure cooker Pay attention to that word, pressure cooker, pressure cooker. A cook is un cocinero, and a cooker is something like this. Okay, so don't confuse those two words, because for Spanish speaking, people always is very confusing this. Cook, cocinero, cooker. Now, so he is cooking the meat here, because he's going to eat also my husband, I mean my husband, I didn't say that, but he's not vegan. But my son and I, we're vegan, so we are going to eat a special kind of cocido, okay? So the first thing we have to do is to start slicing the ingredients, okay? Let's do that now. The real cocido doesn't have pumpkin or doesn't have onions, it's uh, leek. Leek is, I'll show you what a leek is, this puerro in Spanish. So, uh, but since I don't have organic leek, I'm going to use organic onions. So, and then we're going to rinse these uh, chickpeas, these are also organic chickpeas, and we are going to then, I'm going to then show you how I put everything together. It's very simple food, very delicious and healthy. So this in English is called rinsing. In or so we rinse. Uh, now we have the chickpeas inside the pressure cooker. Okay, and we're going to add uh, the other ingredients. Most people are going to say, if they're from Madrid, they're going to say that's not the real one, but this is exactly um, it's normal because this is not what people eat here, but it's an adaptation that I made to be able to eat cocido because I cannot eat many things. Um, and so this is going to be, for example, without any fat, without any oil. So we're just putting all the ingredients in, in there. And don't forget this celery, um, some celery, and then we have to add water, okay? Then we will add some water. I wanted to show you something. The real cocido has blood sausage, red sausages, potatoes, and cabbage. I didn't mention the cabbage. You know what a cabbage is? You know what a cabbage is? I'll show you cabbage. This is a cabbage, repollo. So let's go over. Um, blood sausage, morcilla. Chorizo is red sausage. And potatoes, that you know for sure. And there's another kind of meat you cannot see here. Let's see if I can show you. There's another meat. This is for my husband because we're not eating this. This is bone for the taste. And there's another kind of meat a piece of um, beef, but I cannot see it now. And so, let me see. So cabbage, cabbage is very important. You have the celery, 
Okay, and some carrots. So here we have the result, our vegan cocido, Madrillian vegan cocido. Okay, and again, pumpkin, carrot, chickpeas, cabbage. Okay, you have the cabbage there and some onions. Okay, it's not the typical cocido, but I wanted to show you um, how you can make a delicious and healthy dinner, a vegan delicious and healthy dinner or lunch and uh, I wanted to teach you vocabulary okay so you've learned a lot today many words bye bye beef bone blood sausage cabbage carrot celery chickpea cook fat leek meat onion pressure cooker pumpkin Red sausage, rinse, slice, taste.